Top story after our top story after spending a short while deliberating this afternoon, jurors found Donnie Rowe guilty on all counts for the 2017 murders of two Georgia corrections officers. The jurors asked to see some footage from the prison bus cameras again during their deliberations. Attorneys for both sides gave passionate closing arguments earlier today. Molly Jed is following the case in Edenton. Shortly after the defense counsel's first and only witness, both the state and the defense counsel spent about an hour saying their final words to the jury. Shortly after That's 10, District was. Attorney T. Wright Barksdell started the closing statement section yeah, of the trial. Barksdell here. defined malice murder for the jury, Plus. then defense attorney Adam Levin began. Levin began with saying Donnie didn't shoot, he didn't intend to kill him, and Donnie is guilty of felony murder, but felony murder does not equal malice murder. Judge Brenda Trammell brings Barksdale back to the stand. He tells the jurors it was almost as if they trained for the day, trained for this opportunity, adding it took less than one minute for them to enter the gate, kill, and escape. Eventually, Barksdale raises his voice and uses Donnie Rowe's belly chains to demonstrate what happened to Christopher Monica more than four years ago. He hit Christopher Monica with it. He's seen it. Off. Don't tell me that's not malice. Don't tell me what his intent was. Because the video shows it, ladies and gentlemen. He grabbed those belly chains and he swung it like a baseball bat. Barksdale finished his last statement to the jury by acknowledging Curtis Belouz and Christopher Monica's family as they sat in the courtroom. In Eatonton, Molly Jett, 13 WMAZ News. Now, instructions to the jurors told them not to look up any coverage of the case. Court is scheduled to resume Friday morning again. A guilty verdict today on all counts just delivered a short while ago.